Chapter 8, Buccaneer Blues. So let's see. Refia said to borrow a boat at the docks and head to the low seas. Well then, why don't we try asking around town? And see if anyone's renting them out. Hey, did you hear? There's a real pirate ship in the harbor. It's so cool. You're heading for the low seas? That's completely insane. I can't lend you a boat, but I'm rooting for you. What's that? You want me to lend you my boat? But if I did that, I wouldn't be able to go fishing. <sighs> At this rate, we might as well swim to the low seas. Well, you can't really blame them. They probably need every boat they've got to make ends meet. Wait, hold your chocobos. Didn't somebody mention a pirate ship was parked at the pier? Yeah, something like that. Why? What's your point? <laughs> I've got an idea. What if we beat up all the pirates and then commodore their ship? What? There's no way it'll be that easy. Well, we don't have to go in with mirages blazing. We might just be able to sneak off with it. They're pirates, right? Who's gonna file a complaint? I guess. It's definitely risky, but if we don't get our butts in gear, Refia's not uncle, or that freak in the creepy golden mask might come along and really rain on our parade. Lesser of two evils it is. Docs, here we come. Looks like mirages are roaming around, too. These docks need to get docked a few points. Let's watch our step. Would you like to awaken? What now? Whose soul will you touch? I never believed it to be more than a legend. A bedtime story someone concocted to fill the dreams of children. But the warriors of light are real. One lives in me. 
Shocking, and yet this part of me has stirred before. <laughs> I must be more tired than I thought. Far too much excitement all at once. Mm -hmm. You won't find her. After all, she likes spending time with her subjects. You were mistaken to search here. Huh? How did we get ourselves dragged into battle? From this room, you can take control of your friends' destinies and redirect the course of their lives by fighting their most crucial battles. So it's like we're helping them in secret? You can think of it like that. Hey, get ready. I'm glad that her highness is absent. The last thing I want is for her to be abducted again. Hmm? Again? But when has she ever been taken before? And it's odd. While battling that Federation soldier, it felt as though some divine force was guiding my hand to victory. Oh yes. I am far, far more tired than I thought. What just happened? When we do that, what does the other person experience? Even time must bend to the whims of fantasy. This place is power. Here, dreams and reality and time all touch all that was, and all that is, and all that will be. From here you changed history. You don't have to worry. The souls you help are not able to see you. And yet, everything that you accomplish on their behalf, become something that they accomplish. So if you come here, fight someone's battle for them, and emerge victorious, what they see is the same battle won the same way, but by their own hand. Uh, that is totally confusing, but wow! So we get to help a bunch of people out, and we get to keep all the prismariums we find? There's like no downsides at all! Seems that way, but in a way, there is a downside. With that much power, we could do as much harm as we do good. This room of hers affects the destinies of so many. Which makes her... what exactly? Is she like Enna Crow? A god? I would...
wouldn't say I'm a god, in the sense you're thinking of. Huh? But if you misuse this power, you might not like the consequences. Consequences? Me and... him? Is it her? Well, our fates have entwined. So now that the two of you have made it to this place, I suppose she'd want me to share a little of this power over time and fantasy. We, uh, won't mess around. I promise. Good. What have we got? A cannon? What's it doing here? Hmm. Aha! Nice! It's a perfect... <laughs> what just happened? Naturally, this must be how the locals get around. Uh-huh. Naturally. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
and dummies first. Let's do this!